along with me as I digitally create a card sort and I don't have to laminate or cut anything out. Um, and I'm gonna use Canva whiteboards, which is a really cool tool. So once you are signed into Canva, choose create a design and then just search for whiteboard. It's gonna be your first option that comes up. Of course, there's lots and lots of mind maps, but we just need a blank whiteboard. And so that's what we're going for. All right, so here we go. We've got a lot of space to work with. And the very first thing we're gonna do is choose elements. And I'm gonna search for sticky note. It should come up with just the word sticky. What I like about these versus the elements is you can type directly on them. So I have a list in front of me of 20 SAT words that my students need to practice. And one of those words is vanquish. So I just quickly type into that sticky note and make it the smallest size possible to save room. And now I can begin adding what I want to match that word with. So if I want to do the definition, I'm just going to choose a different color sticky note, make it the right size. But one of my favorite things to do is to add a quick image, something to connect the word to the definition. And I'm actually going to use the word vanquish in the elements to see if something comes up. And the very first one I have looks like it would go with that definition pretty nicely. So as I'm creating, I keep everything together. That's just so that I know that um, I'm nice and organized and um, nothing's going to get um, left out. So again, I can go back to sticky notes. Oops. And I can begin working with the next word. Once I'm done, my whiteboard's going to look a little something like this here. I've got it all organized with everything on top, and that's just so that I can download the key before I begin to mix it up. So to do that, the easiest way is to choose this share button here and just choose download. It can be a PNG or a PDF. It, it doesn't really matter. PDF is um, obviously nice for printing. Um, it's going to take a, a quick second to download, and then I'll have the PDF that I'll be able to print as a key. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, because when my students mix them up, they might not um, they might not get everything correct and you want them to be able to check their work and move things around again. So there's my key. Now, when I'm ready to display this on my smart board for students to work, all I need to do is mix up and move the different items so that then they have to come and bring things back together and see if they can get their key right. So that is how you can quickly and easily create a digital card sort using Canva. So let's look at a couple of ways that we can share this and protect our original document here. If I'm a part of a teacher team and I want to get this to my other teacher friends, just click share and then I have it open here because I just clicked on it. You might need to click see all, but you're going to be looking for the template link. And you can do this with any Canva product if you want to protect your original. And I really love this feature. So just copy the template link. And then what they will see when they use the template link is an edit template button. Once they click that, it places a new copy into their Canva dashboard where they can manipulate, share, and do all of the wonderful things. So you can share this with teachers or students. It gives everybody a unique copy. Now, if you have a learning management system like we do, we use Canvas, you can create an assignment as well or a page. You can share that link there. I've already done this, so I'm going to say digital card sort two here. I just want to show you just a little feature available. In our district, we are connected up to Canva. I encourage you in wherever you are to try to do the same. And what's really neat here is I just um, I, I would edit the assignment as normal, give it the points, the due date, everything. And then I use this little plug here. You'll probably have to click this view all, but mine has been open. So from here, all I need to do is click on the card sort, choose embed into page and a new design for each student. Now um, we have a copy, so you will want to mix it up before you do this. Um, mine basically gives them the answer, so don't make that mistake. But the students will choose this start activity digital card sort. So I'm going to press save and publish and show you what that looks like. They will click the start activity and it basically gives them that template link that I was speaking about earlier. So that's a quick and easy way to do it without having to go and generate that link. And then you'll notice this is a different copy. So I'm going to move these out of the way so you can see that it did not hurt my original over here. 
So from there, they can just download and share in whichever way you want them to, and you are all done with your digital card sort. Thank you.